Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the secure MSS-12, a mini portable soldering station that can be powered using both DC and USB Type-C ports and supports interchangeable T12 soldering tips. In terms of packaging, the secure MSS-12 comes inside this nice carrying pouch and inside along with the main unit you are getting some stickers a stand and a sponge for cleaning the soldering tip, the user manual, which is of course also available online, a T12B2 soldering tip, and an XT60 to barrel connector cable, which is used for powering the main unit. As for its specs, the mini soldering station can be powered with a DC input voltage of between 12 to 25 volts, or using a quick charger that supports power delivery 3.0. The handle supports standard T12 soldering tips, and in order to attach the tip to the handle, all you have to do is to simply push it like that. On the center of the main unit, you can find a very bright and readable OLED screen. It indicates the current temperature of the soldering tip, the work status, the input voltage, and the target temperature. Adjusting the target temperature is done by rotating this dial to the right or to the left, and short pressing this button is going to start or stop hitting the soldering tip. Long pressing this button is going to take you to the main menu where you'll be able to adjust the different options, including setting the temperature compensation, turning on or off the buzzer, setting the temperature unit, the default work temperature, start heat, which I highly do not recommend to turn on for safety reasons, as in case it is turned on, the soldering tip is going to immediately start heating up once the main unit is powered up. You can reset the settings to the factory settings. Under the idle menu, set the sleep and idle times. So as the handle features a built-in accelerometer, it can detect that you're not moving it. After the sleep time is going to pass, the temperature is going to be reduced to the sleep temperature and after the idle time is going to pass, the heating procedure is going to be turned off, which is a great safety feature. Under the OLED menu, you can adjust the brightness of the screen and its direction. Under the voltage menu, you'll be able to adjust the low voltage value, which is especially important in case you are going to power the main unit using a battery, as you don't want it to be depleted. And under the calibration menu, you'll be able to calibrate the temperature of the soldering iron. Selecting an option is done by short pressing this button, and in order to go back, you'll need to long press it. In addition, once connected to a computer, the soldering station is going to enter firmware upgrade mode, and you'll be able to update its firmware. In terms of dimensions, the main unit itself is pretty compact. On its own, it weighs 61.5 grams. Together with the handle, it weighs 129.4 grams. And the total weight, including the XT60 to barrel connector, is 160.7 grams. In comparison, the SQ001 is more travel friendly, and the weight of the soldering iron and the XT60 to barrel connector is 62.5 grams. As for power consumption, while heating up to the maximum temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and supplied with 20 volts, the current draw is about 1.8 amperes, and after reaching the target temperature, it significantly goes down. In addition, the stuttering iron heats up pretty quickly. The time that is going to take it to reach the target temperature depends on the supplied voltage, and when supplied with 20 volts, it should take it less than 30 seconds to reach the maximum temperature. As for cooling down, it of course depends on your room temperature, and on my case, when the temperature in my room is about 24 degrees Celsius, it took about 3 minutes to cool down from 450 to 100 degrees Celsius. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that in my opinion, the Secure MSS-12 is going to be a good option in case you're looking for a portable soldering station for both indoors and outdoors usage, as its quality seems to be good, it offers some nice safety features, it's convenient to work with, and it is reasonably priced. 
I'm actually now using the MSS-12 as my main soldering station and I find it convenient to power it on the bench using the P200 power supply by 2 liter C as the MSS-12 doesn't have a power switch so once connected to the USB Type-C output port of the P200 I can simply switch it on and off when needed. In case however you're just looking for a compact soldering iron for quick fixes on the go I would recommend to go with something like the Secure SQ001 as it is cheaper and going to take less room in your backpack. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the Secure MSS-12 portable soldering station. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.